Hello, it's Lala. <clears throat> it's been a while. I actually did a video not that long ago and just never got around to posting it. So, well, Saturday, as well as you, tomorrow be saints, but I won't be wearing the same shirt. But um, anyway, yes, the apron is on. That means I'm cooking, but I have been cooking. So, I'm gonna show you what I've already done. So, um, I know y'all know I get, uh, oh, oh, sorry. It mean for that um deer um good friend of mine son deer um deer hunts hunts deer what do call anyway and i get deer meat from him i get a whole deer and so um anyway i need to start cooking some of this deer that i got in my freezer and so i took out a pack of ground deer and ground deer sausage and mixed it and I made a little bit of a loose spaghetti sauce. Yes, just a little bit. I had a little bit of sauce left in a jar. So I ground a little bit, made some meatballs for another time. That's gonna go in the freezer. And I made these little sliders. Can you see that? So I just put salt, pepper, um, and my friend who is um, Italian said her grandmother used to put sauce in the meat when she, so I put a little bit of um, jar sauce. I use um, hash, nope, nope, oh, that's not what I thought it was. That was Prego, but um, I normally use Rayo's because it's low in carbs. But anyway, um, so I had a little bit of that left from something I had done, so I wanted to get rid of that. So that was my deer project. And like I said, all of, that, all of it's probably going in the freezer because I have some food in my fridge and I gotta eat today. And I leave on Thursday. Yeah, everybody's all into fall. And look, I love me some fall. Fall's my favorite season. I can't be celebrating fall till I've been to the beach one time. So I'm in my annual, normally I go more than once, but this year just the one trip, um, the annual trip with uh, dear group of friends, so we leave Thursday. So I, when I get back from the beach, I'll put fall stuff up. But anyway, um, I am making a shrimp okra gumbo. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure I ever made shrimp okra gumbo. I, I, I'm sure I have, but I don't remember. My go to typically is chicken sausage, but I bought some shrimp recently. Now, if you know me well, you know I am a shrimp snob. My dad trolled when he was alive and we always had fresh shrimp, fish, crabs, like all the fresh seafood, like at our hands. Like we'd go in the freezer and pull it out, like the stuff he put in the freezer the day before. But anyway, so I grew up having fresh shrimp, always. Now, when he went, when he went, he came home with, you know, ice chests of shrimp. We had to dehead that and peel it before it went in the freezer. In some cases, my mom made, she, she's big about deveining. So I grew up about deveining. That's when you butterfly and you pull the, the black vein out. Most people <coughs> don't care about that. Uh, if you eat crawfish, some people take, take that vein out. Some people don't. Anyway, that's just how I grew up. So anyway, this is fresh shrimp. This is not what I call fake shrimp. Um, so I got an ice chest full of shrimp a while back um, in the, the end of the May season, so early June. And like, I mean, I pulled the heads off myself, like they were out of the water the same day, pulled the heads off and put them in my freezer. Now I don't peel them and devein them before I put them in the freezer. Cause to me it's just too easy to do, quick and easy to do. And we packed them um, three dozen a bag and I took out two packs. Gumbo. We're trying to make a, a nice size gumbo. Um, so anyway, getting ready to heat my, saute my seasoning and then throw my shrimp in there. I do have, when I peeled my shrimp, I um, boiled some peelings and heads and made me a um, stock, I guess. So I'll have to add some water, but um, I'll have a stock. And then I know y'all know, y'all see me make my chicken sausage. I use um, Tony Sachery roux, roux mix. I can cook and do cook my own roux, um, but this is just so freaking easy. 
I just can't sometimes get past using it. And it's delish. So anyway, I'll come along a little later and show you uh, the progress. But um, And I'm using frozen okra because I don't have any fresh okra. And then I'm going to tell y'all about what's playing in the background when I come back on. It's the Broadway musical 6. It's the soundtrack. It's about... Oh, I'm not going to tell you any more than that. But anyway, it's called Six. So you guess what that might be about. And I'll see if you can guess it when I come back on the table. Okay. I've come back on quicker than I thought because my neighbor brought me a little bit of fresh crab meat that her dad peels. Um, so yeah, again, fresh not like not store bought. But anyway, um, you just need a little bit of that. And I think you just need a little, I mean, you could put plenty, but it's hard to get plenty peeled crab meat. But a little bit of crab meat and um, a shrimp okra gumbo just kind of gives it that flavor. Just adds a little bit to it. So um, anyway, I have my, um, let's see if I can move this a little closer. I have my, all my seasoning, rocking and rolling in my pot, sauteing that. And then I will put the okra. And then, um, whoop, spaghetti sauce on the floor. Um, I haven't been cleaning as much as I cooked this time. And then my brew mix. Now I just recently talked to somebody and she uses the Tony's brew mix and she just dumps it right in her gumbo. If you call to put it with cool water and cook it till it gets thick. So I don't know. I'm probably gonna cook it a little bit. But anyway, just getting my onion sauteed and then I'm gonna have to um Got my okra in there because it's frozen and it's going to take a minute to, to get going. But anyway, so um, I love Broadway musicals. Like, love, love Broadway. Ooh, I didn't realize I was that close. Broadway musicals. And um, for Christmas this year, me and my daughter and my daughter in law are going to New York for Christmas. We're leaving on the Thursday before and coming back the day after Christmas. But, um, we're gonna see a couple plays while we're there. That's it, I'm gonna put that in. And, um, cause we've been before. My daughter-in-law hadn't, but she, she's just going cause we wanna go. She's never seen a, a, a play, a theater play, Broadway or even on. So, when we would decide what we wanted to go see, my friend's been telling me, oh, one of the new plays on um, Broadway this year is um, Six, the musical Six. And it is about, Henry the Eighth and his six wives. And I'm like, mm, okay, that sounds kind of interesting. And um, she says, you need to listen to the soundtrack. It's really good. That's what I have on in the background. I listened to Wicked earlier, because I'm going to see Wicked. Now, I've seen Wicked in New Orleans. I saw it at Mahalia Jackson after Katrina before Sanger was back open, and then I saw it again at the Sanger. But I haven't seen it on Broadway. I just love it. But my girls don't, have never seen it, and just recently learned that Wicked is the prequel to The Wizard of Oz. If you didn't know that, that's something you just learned just now. But anyway, um, it's about when the two witches met and um, on their friendship. Anyway, it's really good and the music's amazing. So um, anyway, we're going to New York and I'm listening to Hen Henry uh, VI, which is about Henry the Wa uh, Henry the Eighth and his six wives. Lisa, get it together. I haven't even had anything to drink. It's just two o'clock. But anyway, um, so, one day, I listened to this podcast called Noble Blood. Shout out to Noble Blood. Love it. And um, I just started at the beginning, and I just listened, you know, from the oldest to the newest. And I'm just starting 20, the beginning of 2022. So I have a ways to go, and I was behind. But anyway, one day I'm listening, and um, it's about Catherine of Aragon. I'm like, oh, that's Henry's first wife. Okay, so, and I already knew about the play, and I had already kind of decided, hadn't fully decided, but kind of decided I wanted to go see it. And my girls don't care to go see that. They want to go see Harry Potter. And um, anyway, um, I don't care to see Harry Potter. So um, we're going to do matinee, and they're going to go see Harry Potter, and I'm going to go see Wicked. Um, and then, I mean, sorry, six. We're going to go see Wicked together on the day before. Anyway, so um, anyway, I'm listening to the podcast, and it's about this. It's about Catherine of Aragon. And each episode on this podcast about, I know I'm all over the place, I'm sorry, is about, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes long. They're not long. 
And then the next one was about um, Anne Boleyn, his second wife. And of course he, he divorced um, Catherine of Aragon and then he beheaded Anne and then um, on and on. I won't go through all six of them because if you're interested, you need to go to Noble Blood. I forget which episodes, but this, there's six in a row and it's about each of the wives. Well, I just happened upon that. But it was exciting because like kind of I know a little bit more about history and what went on with that. And so I'll be able to enjoy the musical more. And now when I listen to the music, it's um, I understand it because I learned the real history. Because it's Noble Blood, it's like it's, it's factual. It's not um, made up stuff. But anyway, like a Broadway musical with modern music, obviously. <laughs> Back then they didn't have this music, but um, anyway, it's, um, it's really good. So that's what's on in the background. Um, so I'm going to um, continue cooking this down and I'll show y'all the next steps. But I just wanted to give y'all a little um, idea about what I'm listening to. I do like to listen to uh, Broadway musical music when I'm cooking sometimes, as if I'm not into yeah, I still do this. Um, if I'm not listening to like some Van Morrison or some, or some Chris Stapleton or something like that. But anyway, um, I'll probably switch to that in a little while when I start drinking. I don't know that this kind of music is uh, drinking music. I never tried it. Maybe one day I'll do that. But anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Show you what my next steps are. Hey, okay. I'm back. I just want to kind of show y'all with the... Uh, shrimp in there just got that sauteing down really good and i'm about to um put my stock that i made in here I'm trying to it's still it's still i just made a mess while i'm still somewhat frozen i'm gonna dump what's defrosted and put that back try to get that defrosted i'm gonna clean up all this after i usually clean up as i go i'm usually not a messy cook but I don't know if I want to, as I get older, I just I'm messier and I just clean up after. So I'm gonna put this on high because that water, that broth is cold. I want to get that going again really good. So you can see how it's gonna be. And I'll add a little bit of water and then of course it'll get darkened when I put the roof mix in. I won't put that in until after. This is going really good. Um, it's onions, bell pepper, a little celery. In that mix, I get the pre-chopped pre -chopped stuff. And um, sometimes I chop my own, but and I did chop, I chopped my onions from my meatball from my meat earlier and had a ton left. I should have just put it in there, but I didn't have bell pepper and stuff. So I chopped that and put that in the freezer for another day. So now I have a bunch of chopped onions in my freezer. But um, yeah, this is it. This is gonna be delicious. Now this won't get eaten, actually, till later in the week, and probably some of it's gonna get frozen because again, I have some food. And you know what I'm cooking tomorrow? I might, I might, if I think about it, I might um, come on and do it because I've never, I'm never, I'm doing something tomorrow I've never done before either. And um, I'm having friends over for the game, and I said like, I want to do something different. I mean always do big you know chili gumbo whatever roast and so I'm like so I said I'm gonna go to the store and I'm walking around I said I'll get inspired and so I uh, saw the chicken I was th thinking about maybe making a big chicken stir fry um but this lady she's piling these huge packs I think two four ten wings a pack or something like that these chicken wings in her basket and she said something about, yeah, I'm stocking up. It's football season or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, I said, I'm trying to figure out what to fix tomorrow for my crew. And so anyway, I said, um, I've never cooked wings. Oh, she said, it's so easy, Bubba. And she kind of she kind of told me what to do. Um, now I have friends who cook them. I mean, ideally it would be to grill them, but I'm, I'm not, it's too hot. I'm not getting out there and doing all that. But anyway, I bought some uh, aluminum pans and I'm, I'm going to do them in the oven. She told me to cover them first and I'm going to do a couple different flavors, seasoning. Um, she said you cover them first for 20-ish um, minutes and then you um, uncover them and then they get crispy. So I'm going to try it. I mean, they're not going to taste bad. I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge wing person. I mean, every now and then I like a wing, but that's not something, like I said, I've never even cooked them. I've never cooked them. This is getting warm. 
I'm gonna let this go in really, really good. I'm probably gonna add some hot water now. Now the crab meat, I'm gonna throw in at the very last minute because if you throw your crab meat in too soon, it just kind of breaks up. Well, I mean, and it's gonna anyway because it's gonna get heated and reheated, but um, it breaks up. And I'm really not putting it in there to like have a lot of crab meat per se. I'm putting it in there because um, I, it's just for a little bit of flavor. I have no idea where these crabs came from, but he peeled them. My friend's dad, he's like 80 something years old, almost 90 years old. She said, she texted me and said, my dad said you might need to check for shells because an amateur peeled them. And I'm thinking, Am the amateurs I know like me and all, when we peel, we peel better than the professionals because we're more careful. They peel in bulk and doing that fast. But um, most of the time I don't cook, again, I don't cook with crab meat unless it's crabs I peeled. I, I tried to get some fresh crab meat one time and I don't know, it didn't work out. And that was nasty. Anyway, I don't want to tell that story. I got mad at one of the stores and I didn't go back in there for a while. Because they wouldn't give me my money back and the crab meat was bad. It was bad. It wasn't just like not fresh bad. It was spoiled. Anyway, I didn't have my receipt. Who freaking keeps their grocery receipts? I don't. Anyway, and I still don't because it clearly, she scanned it because I didn't, I, I remembered about how much it was. But she scanned it and told me exactly how, I mean, you know how much it is. Anyway, I was not happy with them for a good long while. That's not where I went today. I went to the, the local, the, the Rouse's, hashtag Rouse's. But I didn't see any fresh crab meat, but my friend Sharon got me some. So kudos to Sharon and her dad. Um, so anyway, when that gets going and dark and really bubbling, I'll show you that. And that'll be the end of today. Okay, you can kind of see, I added my Tony Sachery room mix and it's dark. And I'm just gonna cover that and put it on low and let it cook for probably, I don't know, at least an hour. I'm gonna go take a rest off my feet because I've been on them for a couple of hours. And then I'm gonna come back and um, it'll be the start of a new video because it's getting long. And um, I'm gonna do my, um, I'm gonna season my chicken for tomorrow and get that started. So all I gotta do is put it in the oven. So I'm not exhausted when my company comes. So anyway, that's my shrimp okra gumbo. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. I'm sure it'll be decent. Um, may not be the best gumbo. I've had some pretty darn good gumbos. I got people who can cook in my life. But um, I'm sure it's gonna be very delish. And um, of course, um, a bowl will go to my friend Sharon and her dad for providing the crab meat. And again, that crab meat, it's gonna go in at the, the last minute, just just to give it a little flavor. And it's it again, it's gonna break up anyway because it's gonna be heated and reheated. But um, I, I kinda wish I hadn't put quite so much liquid. It's not quite as thick as I wanted it. But um, I just add a little, um, when I mean, say thick, I mean like meat, shrimp. I had, it was like good and shrimpy and but anyway, um, I'll add a little uh, cornstarch to thicken it up. Anyway, peace out.